action. Action. What's up guys? Fahan here with Za once again and today we are back at Fa Moto. How are you man? Up, yeah, it's, hey, been, please, 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 please. it's been a while. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, and um, today, once again, we're collaborating with Fami on scooter maintenance, right? Correct. So, yeah. today, we're gonna show how you guys can also do a full service on your own. Ah, uh, for scooter, lah. Yeah. So, I think, I think it's the first. Huh? Not it's a lot the first, of uh, YouTube videos out there, they show you how to full service. Uh, scooter lah. Oh really ah? Even that is, it's usually in uh, in uh, other some languages. other language yeah, that other we don't languages. understand, you know. <laughs> yeah. So in Singapore context, uh -huh. there's none. So yes, this correct. probably will be the first video first on one. scooter you mannequin know. tents. Yes. <laughs> so maybe you want to share, what's the what's the difference between a motorcycle and a scooter lah? Both of them are also a motorcycle lah. Mm. So what makes it different is the way how uh, the engine works. Or more to the drive belt lah. So for scooter usually, they have a belting system. Uh, if a normal motorcycle, they have a chain lah, chain and sprocket to make the, the motorcycle move. Okay, to connect your rear tire to the engine. So this is the difference lah. So some, they have like shaft, some mm. they have like a belty and as we know, my motorcycle chain lah. Mm. Mm. I see, I see. So for the transmission, it uses a CVT. Correct. Yeah, does it differ from a normal gearbox? Gearbox is a gearbox ah. Mm. So what happened that the gearbox is located at the back of the motorcycle. Mm. So where there's a bunch of gears and attached to the uh, clutch ah, or the auto clutch. Yeah. And where that's where the let, later we open up, I will explain more lah. There you mm. can see much more visual. Mm. Mm. I see, I see. So in your personal opinion ah, mm. is a motorcycle. Uh, cheaper to maintain or a scooter is cheaper to maintain? For me, a normal motorcycle will be a cheaper <laughs> maintenance option. Uh. Uh, the reason being why there's much more stuff for you to do if you want to do a full service. Example, for uh, Aerox right now, the market is around $110 for a normal full servicing. Uh. So usually, what do, they, do you do for a full servicing of a scooter? Okay, so there's a few things that we do for, of course, the basic one is your engine oil change, mm -hmm. your gear oil change and your spark plug change. So these are the normal thing. Yeah. The oil filter got on? Uh, for Aerox, there's no oil filter. Ah. Ah. So it depends on the bike or so? Lah. Yes, depends on the bike. Some bike they have oil filter, then we change the oil filter. Lah. Then about the CVT, uh, we will change the belting, we will change the roller and the U-clip or slider. Mm. And also, not only change that, we also uh, do visual checks on the pulley, on the auto clutch, on the bearings. Mm. And last but not least, we also do a CVT cleaning. So for us in Famoto, we don't use air, we use a degreaser and make sure that the CVT from black become like new one. Fami is going to show you guys on how he does the servicing on uh, Yamaha Aerox. I think this should be somewhat similar to the other bikes like the PCX, so the most, ADV. Most of the scooters work on the same principle, right? Uh, yes, most of, if, it's, if it's uses a belting system and it's just, practically it's the same. Uh. So basically, mm. the maintenance for an Aerox and the uh, NMAX, NMAX and the PCX, uh, ADV 150 yeah, doesn't differ doesn't much. Differ because mm. a CVT is a CVT. Yeah. So the system is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the parts they use is different here and there, but the concept that I'm going to show you guys today is the same. Uh -huh. uh, how you're going to you know, clean, uh, change, all this, uh, it's, all, it's all the same. Everything you can do on your own? Uh, yes, DIY. you can do. You can okay. DIY. You can DIY this thing, but if you're not confident, of course, go to your... Trusted uh, mechanic. Trusted mechanic, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, lah, so let's get started. Lah. Before we start with the maintenance process, we would like to thank Afik for lending us his bike for us to make this video. You are a great supporter, man. We will run through the most basic thing first. But of course, you need to drain your old engine oil and also your old gear oil. So I think we, I got teach you guys this before, but very simple. Lah. You just from the bottom of the bike, all you need to do is to open up the drain plug and let the old engine oil drain out. Lah. Okay, just like this. Okay, just careful. There's a strainer and a spring. All the old engine oil is all draining out. Lah. Okay, while the oil is draining out, I want to open the side cover set to access to the spark plug. Okay, so this one you just use a uh, Allen key size 4 and you can open up three screws on the side so remember to release the footrest and then just slowly pry it out just like that and once you open up right the spark plug is quite inaccessible lah. so you need to wiggle wiggle out 
the spark plug cap to just like that. Okay? And we need to have a spark plug opener. Okay, so we, once we put the opener through the spark plug, we can just open up. Lah. Okay? It's a bit tight. Lah. Sometimes it can be very tight or it's not that tight. Lah. So, but most of the time it's going to be very tight. So what I can uh, always do lah, is I put my hand below to like help me hold the spark plug in case of the spark plug dropping. Okay, so the spark plug is out. So we just do a quick inspection on the spark plug. Looks quite good. But still, we are going to change the spark plug because why? We are doing a full service. Okay, now to put it in. How you take out is the same way how you put it in. Putting it in is quite tricky, so I usually go from below. Lah. Go from the bottom of the bike and using my fingers, I just twist. I will hand tight first. Important lah, that when you're installing your new spark plug, that you must hand tight the spark plug first. You cannot just, you know, straight away use the tool. So make sure the, the spark plug is sitting in properly and there's no cross threading. Lah. For Aerox, right, there's two versions. There's uh, Aerox V1 and Aerox V2. But what's the difference, right? Only how you open the side panel is different. For Aerox V2, there's an extra screw underneath the fuel tank cap. Once I confirm that I already hand tight the spark plug, all I need to do is to insert back the spark plug uh, two and just use slowly turn. Uh, if I feel any resistance, I open back and I restart. I do back. So because why you don't want to have any cross threading. So once you reach the bottom, just give a good talk. Okay lah, by right there's top spec lah. But we just use my hand to talk lah. Okay, that's good. Install back the spark plug cap. Again, I like to do this from the bottom of the bike. Yeah, once you hear the click, it's already installed in. So, time to put this back. Once we finish installing the spark plug, I will want to put back the drain plug. But before we put back, again, I will check the O-ring, if the O-ring is okay. Okay, and the cleaner, I need to clean this. I'll use a brake cleaner. Same thing, you can clean the drain plug. Okay, you can get the brake cleaner at your hardware shop. How you install it? The strainer facing up. You just put it like that and you screw it back in. Again, I would like to hand tight first. Okay, don't be too overconfident. Straight away using your tool once you hand tight it. Okay, then you use a tool and tighten it fully. So, I just give a good tuck. And that's about it lah. Okay, once you install back the drain plug, you close back, it's best to always put in the new engine oil. Just going to use a funnel because it's quite out of place lah. I put in the new engine oil. Okay, for Aerox, it use only 900ml. Okay, don't rush when you pour the engine oil, just pour it slowly lah. You don't want to have any overflow, just take your time, rotate around. 30 seconds to 1 minute to put in the engine oil. Because if you rush, it might overflow then. You have a dirty job. So basically, uh, replacing the engine oil and the spark plug mm -hmm. is almost the same as a motorbike, right? Uh, yeah, it's the normal. Uh, it's how any other bike, you drain the engine oil and mm -hmm. change the spark plug. It's the same, but what makes it different is the location and the quantity of the engine oil. Uh, That's about it. Uh. So, how do we check uh, the level of Oil. So same thing, there's always a dipstick mm -hmm. on uh, Aerox bike. You must check when the engine is cool. Okay, so this is the indicator. Lah. This is the lower part, this is the maximum part. As long as it doesn't go above or you dip in, there's nothing, then you need to worry. Lah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like this, in this case, you just dip it in, then not above, perfect. Around 900 ml. Okay? Mm -hmm. Some shop they put one liter or some people they put one liter. Okay, the 100 ml it might overflow. So when it overflow, you can have a messy and oily bite sometimes. I will show you where it overflow usually. I see. So I, I just see. tighten it. Okay, and we are good to go. Let's go to the other, the other side to change the gear oil. Okay, for the gear oil, there's a drain plug also just below here. Where my finger is. It is the lowest part of the gear box. Uh. So just by using a size chop spanner, I'm just going to open up. When you're opening this up, you just need to be careful. I will usually bring it higher. Uh. So it won't have no spill all over the rim. But if it spill, you can still uh, clean it up.
Ah, there you go. You see? Wow, it looks, still looks clean, eh? Hmm. Wow, like frozen water, there. <laughs> it's called Lamina Flow. Lamina Flow. Ah. <laughs> so just now we saw the color of the gear oil, uh, quite uh, clean. Eh? So in your opinion, it's still okay, lah. Yeah, it's still okay, but. For this video, we are doing a full service, so we just going to change it. But what I can recommend is always change your gear oil alternate. If you change your engine oil 2,000 km, then your gear oil will be 4,000 km. Uh, yeah. So there's there's no specific uh, mileage for gear oil? Uh, yeah, there is, uh, which is uh, alternate. Lah. When you change your engine oil today and gear oil today, then the next one you don't need, the following one you need, uh, alternate. Oh, but of course, if you open up the get all drain plug, there's a washer, copper washer. Okay, best to change the copper washer lah. Okay, and make sure there's no damage on the track. Next, we're gonna reinstall the gearbox drain plug. Very straightforward lah for spark plug, for engine oil and gear oil lah. It's very straightforward. So it's just like your normal engine oil servicing. Okay, so we tighten it, and now we can put in the new gear oil. Again, what's the quantity of the gear oil, right? You can see here. Let's see, put oil, 150 cm cube. So 150 ml lah for the gear oil. So same thing, we're gonna use the funnel. And that's about it for the gear oil. Oh. Yeah, very simple. So that's done. We already changed the gear oil, the engine oil, and the spot plug. Now let's get to the fun part, which is the CVT. Okay, so this over here is the housing for the airbox and the CVT lah. Yeah, so there's the airbox, air filter, the CVT belting, the CVT filter all here. So step number one to open up your CVT is to open up the CVT casing here. Okay, the plastic cover lah. It's a good idea to change this kind of board because the original screw right, it's not that durable. Very easy to slip. Loosen the air, air box. There's two screws, one here, another one here. All use a size 10. Okay. And just slip it out. That's about it. This is the cover. You put the side. That's just a cover. Yeah. Oh. We have a CVT filter here. Ah, ah. CVT filter. By right, this is a this is yellow in color, but after heavy usage, it become black. Okay. So we open up all the bolts around the casing. Okay. To make it fast, I use a impact gun. Just wiggle. And it will come out. Just like that. There you go. For this bike, particularly, we have a aftermarket uh, front pulley and of course the rear auto clutch lah. It's all aftermarket. So we're gonna open it up for the back one. Uh, this one you need a size chop and something to hold the casing of the auto clutch. Make sure the thread is not damaged lah. Sometimes fast mechanic might damage the thread. So all this later we will show you how to do a proper top spec lah. For the front pulley right, you need to check for any indentation. Like there's a curve in. But for this case it's still good lah. Uh, okay, the shape is still good. There's no curve in. But if it's curve in or is it like eaten up, then you need to change the pulley. Ah, we remove the auto clutch. Okay, so the auto clutch, there's a casing and there's the auto clutch. Okay, we also check for any wear and tear. This is good. Okay, so put it aside. So, use this in the case it uses a drum brake. Ah, no, this is not a brake, this is the clutch. Oh, the the clutch. auto clutch, yeah. So, it's, as it rides faster. Uh, it grips better lah grips for better. those uh, aftermarket racing ones. So if you are using back your belting, you can check for wear and tear. So usually you just go one round, check the outside for cracks. Okay, you turn it, check for cracks. At the groove, usually there will be crack around the groove. So in this case, the belting still can be used. But there's a big sign of wear. 
Okay But for today We're not going to use the original one For today we're going to use a Tobaki Kevlar drive belt So it says that Okay, use of Kevlar material which is 5 times stronger than steel So this one is a very good belting lah how much is this? It's around, I think, $19. Uh. So usually from what I know, uh, the Calva belting, belting is usually used by the Ducati and Harley Davidson uh, bikes. Uh, those are maintenance, there's really barely none of it. No maintenance, I think. Uh, that one. Yeah. yeah. So this is the Kevlar belt uh, that we're going to use. Okay, before we install, uh, we would like to take out everything. Okay, there's a bush here. Okay, just be careful, just put here, no problem. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the, the the slider. Okay, and this is the wheel clip. Sorry, this is the roller. So, how to check for the roller for wear and tear? Maybe uh, check for out shape. Is there any out shape? Uh, like this one, just wear a bit of out shape here. So, must change. As you can see, there's like not round now. Okay, so just give a visual check. Put this aside okay once you remove everything the next step is for you to clean up the area around the cvt as you can see there's a lot of dust you can you know take a paintbrush clear up the dust first then you use a degreaser so you're going to clean up the degreaser air i see they just use air yeah so i'll still use air to remove all the dust There's also additional step lah. If you want to check your air box or your air filter, you can actually open up the casing here. So make sure the air filter is not dirty, is in good condition. So just open up the air box. Very easy. Just use a size eight, and you can remove the casing already. Just like that. Tada! So just now I remember when I say you put extra or too much engine oil, it will, uh, the, uh, it will overflow, right? So this is where it overflow. Can you see all the engine oil? Oh yeah, uh -huh, uh, oh, the engine oil so is the engine oil will overflow here. Okay, so, mm. so it will overflow here. So that's why usually we open up to check if there any overflow, we will clean it. So this is the air filter. Uh, so this is the air filter. Jauh, so, so mm. fast, uh, the engine from there, mm. and then come out here. Because there's a breather, uh, the, over the, the vacuum force ah. oh. so it will flow out and it will flow in here ah, for yeah. this case the air filter is 50-50 lah can change lah quite dirty you can see the filter quite dirty this side this side also quite dirty okay. so this one can change lah we will change for him also the air filter let's get to cleaning ni the boring part lah <laughs> wow, I noticed the decreaser macam slime eh? Yeah, it's green in color. Uh, Ghostbusters! So, this is an engine degreaser. Uh. So, that's why I take the before and after. Before already, right? Later, we see the after once it's clean. So, I just use a normal paintbrush you can get from your hardware shop. Just scrub it in. So this yes. is safe for use at the CVT model? Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's safe for use on the engine. Wow, you really can see the difference. Oh, so, see, yeah. <laughs> you guys really put in the effort to service a scooter. Eh? Of course, in farm auto, we always make sure that every bike that we do, I always tell my mechanic, lah, when we do the bike, imagine it's our own bike. So when we imagine it's our own bike, we confirm do properly. Well. We don't just use air. Okay? We will use degreaser, cleaner, brake cleaner, uh, part cleaner all the necessary cleaning tool that is required so you can see oh. it's like night and day oh, sir, yeah. <laughs> usually for aeros or any scooter that come to farm moto and do their full servicing we will clean every single thing ah. when we, our practice is where we clean right we will also, also show the customer mm. yeah, you see this one before and after so they also satisfy lah. sometimes they see the airbox or uh, the CVT right? super dirty you know. and they come here and clean Oh, then they're happy because they see everything is all clean. We also do CVT cleaning only, and let's say you just do your full servicing, but you you notice that hey, they never clean the CVT. 
You can also do that. Uh, it's thirty dollars lah if you want to just do the CVT cleaning. Mm. But now you see this video, you can do yourself ah. That looks like too much work for us to do ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> if you got time lah, maybe around one hour, two hour, you can do yourself ah. It's like fresh out of the factory. You know? So I just use the part cleaner to remove the remaining degreaser, and we should be good to go. If you cannot get 100% clean, at least 95% is good lah. So there's some tough stain that we cannot remove, but it's okay as long as it's good as new. Not 100%, 95% is good to go. Be there. Okay, okay. Not only the CVT can be clean. The moving parts also can be clean. Usually all this slider I will put aside because we're going to change to a new one. So using the same degreaser and the same paintbrush, you just you know, clean it up. In Farmoto, we make sure everything is clean. Our customer also happy. The one important, ah, make customer happy. Ah. Like uh, how Fahan train make me happy. Ah. Right. Right, do. Right, do. <laughs> customer service. Customer service, eh? Mm. You can also use, uh, you know, the dish washer sponge. Uh, but right now I don't have that lah. So I just use a... You see the purple popping up sir? Yeah, you see? Different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same thing for the pulley. There's also the additional thing that uh, you can actually do is of course the coolant flush. But most of the time it's not included in the full service. But if you want to do, you can always tell your mechanic ah, you want to do coolant flush also. Usually coolant flush, uh, in farm motor we charge around $40, $35 per coolant flush lah. So we drain out all the old coolant and put in the new one. Baru nampak purple dia. Ni pink ke purple? Purple. Pink. 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 Kau colour blind apa? <laughs> Aku pink. nampak pink. 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 Okay lah, fine. Ni purple lah. Ni purple. Ni pink. Ni <laughs> <So> pink saja. <laughs> the next thing that is always good to check is there's a auto clutch bearing lah. At the casing. Check, turn. If it's smooth, there's no wiggling. It's firm, seated properly and it's good lah. If it's damaged, must change ah, must change this part. So this thing also, the casing also, we're gonna clean. Okay, so we're gonna install back the slider. Okay. In this case, we're just gonna use back the old one lah, because the uh, my I don't have I don't carry this brand, so I have the new new clip, but it's a bit shorter. We're just gonna install the old one, but it still can be used lah, for this one for this case. The roller, just put it. In the slot. This is the new roller. This is the new roller. For rollers, they are. I I understand there are differential sizes. There are different sizes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give a sh quick uh, run through. A run through of. Okay. How does each different sizes affect the bike performance? Okay, for motorcycle chain, there's the sprocket size. Mm -hmm. So the lower the sprocket, the faster top speed you can go or the bigger the sprocket, the better pickup that you can get. For CVT, they have what we call a weighted roller. So there's like 12 gram, depends on the bike. Like for Aerox, stock is 12 gram. So some people, they will bring down to 10, 9, 8. The reason being why, because they want to have a faster pickup, but you will sacrifice your top end. So if you use a heavier roller, you sacrifice your pickup, but you have a better top end. Uh, so you cannot have both lah. Uh, so it's either one. Before we install, I always like to grease up all the shaft. Just put a bit of grease okay, around the shaft. Same goes to the front. So because we already put the greaser all this right, it's best to lubricate the shaft. When installing back, I would always want to install the back part first. Or either way lah. Front part also can. So this one, the spacer. Or the washer, I'll put it back. The front pulley. For belting, you need to be careful. The belting can only move one way, one direction. So for tobaki, right, the T circle T indicates the front part of the bike. So you must always install this way. Lah. So if you install this way, uh, the damage, the belting can break off. So many things can happen. Lah. So to install the belting, right, uh, different mechanic do it differently. So for me, I would always do this. So I check the T is front. I step on the clutch. I turn. You can say I turn right. Then I 
pull the pull the uh, belting in. There you go. Now I have it. I just put it in. Yeah, just like that. Put it back in. Put the front pulley face, the fan drive, and can let go. For the front pulley, there's two washer. One big, one small. The bigger one will go in first. Then the smaller one will go in. This time we're going to hand tight first. The third, there's a top lah that you need to tuck it in. Back one. We put this in and put the nut back in. Simple as that. Now, the next part we're going to tuck. Okay, for the rear boat, we're going to tuck it to 45 newton meter. So I'm using a top wrench here. Okay, just hold on tight. Uh, you hear that click? It's already tucked in place. For the fan, I'm going to tuck it to 49 newton meter. This one, if you got friend to help you, better. There you go. Now we already done with the full servicing of the CVT. Okay? So we just give a quick check, make sure everything all okay, all good. This one no need to be tight one, okay? Uh, this one no need to be tight. This one, you, you need to, later you stretch up once uh, the bike moves. So what you can do is to check. You can just do a quick test run. The CVT is moving, okay? Yeah? Yeah. So, oh, so you automatically tighten up. Uh, mm. oh, okay, that's cool, man. Yeah. So oh, for the cool. air box, I just use a part cleaner. You need to use a de-diesel. And I just wipe off the oil. That explains why some scooter oil, they come in 800 ml. Yes. Now I understand why. I was wondering, you know, why scooter oil, some, some brands, they sell one liter. Uh, one liter, some brand sell 800 ml. We got a new air filter here that we're gonna put on the bike so we clean most of the oil inside. Fixing the new one. Just very simple. Lah. Uh, when you close back, you must do the star pattern. Lah. Okay? So, like what I'm doing, like imagine you drawing the star. Just close it back. The bike there is a gasket lah, but usually some people they took off, take off the gasket. So in this case, we just gonna close it back. Okay, the gasket is not so important so Okay, just close it back and put all the screw in. I will go two rounds. So make sure that everything is seated properly. Now that I can tighten. Alright. Uh, remember the filter just now? Okay. So the yellow face inwards. Just put it nicely. And then the cover you can put back in. Slowly. Just like that. But once the screw are in, you can actually just tighten the uh, the casing back. Okay. We are all done. Done ready? Eh? Yeah, done ready. So Wait. just give a quick spray. Swipe. Okay. Owner can go wash bike after this. Yeah, the engine <laughs> now looks better. Now looks nicer than the rest of the bike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you guys realize this tube, okay, just now I say about the oil overflow, right? You can actually see oil coming out through here. If you see this is full of oil, you can just take out and drain it out. Okay? So yep, just put it back in.
Now we already cover uh, engine oil uh, change, uh, gear oil change, CVT change. How about brake pad? How do we check uh, brake pads for the Aerox? Okay, if this the front brakes, you can check by the side. Mm. But how about the rear brakes? Because it, this is a drum brake. Okay, for the drum brake, there's an indication. All drum brake bikes, right, there will be a marking. Lah. So as you can see down here, there's two marking and there's this arrow thingy. As long as this thing is inside the the like the the indentation, right, it's good. But if let's say you use you slowly, right, you go out, it's time for you to change. For this one, uh, yeah. this one, this one like almost finishing, ah. Almost finishing. Ah, almost see. finishing. So again, you can also adjust. So you can adjust here to make it tighter. So once you adjust, then you can also adjust. No worries, one. Unless you use until, also when you use it until squeaky, also it's time for you to change. So when you're building, got squeaking sound, uh, can change. Uh. Mm. So it must be, the arrow must be above here. Lah. In between. Lah. In between, in between, between the best. In between the best. Uh. Wow, I didn't know uh, that a lot actually goes into scooter servicing. Uh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things. That's why for full servicing for full servicing for scooter, it will cost a bit more than your normal motorcycle servicing. Mm, yeah. Because of the gear, the gear oil, oh, like thing. A lot of extra steps uh. and extra things that you need to do. Yeah. Mm, I see. So like this, ah, uh, mm -hmm. um, maybe what's the price range for you guys? Ah, uh, it's hundred and ten. Our full servicing in Far Moto for Aerox and other class two B bikes is hundred and ten onwards. So, but Honda will cost a bit more because like ADV all this, their spare part is much more costlier. And once again, ah, uh, this bike is a fixed bike. The owner is over here. Thank you so much for volunteering, ah, uh, to uh, sacrifice your bike for this video. Bye. <laughs> He is one of my viewers at TikTok. Ah, uh, so I see, I see. he is the one who gave the idea. Hey, why not do some scooter servicing video? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, so, so you can come find me at TikTok also. Uh, we do live. Yeah, so <laughs> you not only that. Lah, uh, follow Fami's other social also. Uh, he got Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. and tick now TikTok. Lah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Fumira, over to you for the promo for the riders. Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. To all the viewers out there, Tamba Overlanders and Farmoto would like to give you guys a special promo code. Just code TAMBA15 to enjoy 15% discount off your total bill cap at $20. Enjoy! Alright guys, so once again Fami, thank you so much for showing us uh, the scooter servicing. So what else you guys do uh, at Farmoto here? Okay, we do all, we try to be all in one. Right now, our new service that we just introduced is the motorcycle spray painting. Ah. So, if you guys looking to spray paint or change the color of your bike, you can come to Farmoto. Uh, the new company is called FM Colorworks. Mm. So, uh, the Instagram is here. Lah. Uh, the Instagram is here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for the vlog. And uh, we... Only, aku punya closing lah. Oh, okay, sorry. I forget about Zaz closing. <laughs> Guys, if you have any other comments, suggestion, feedback, uh, put in the comment section below. Like and share this video with your riding kaki and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> okay. Give me all of your life.